Hello again! Last week there were some problems with the comments on my video. Um, YouTube kept turning them off and I kept turning them back on. But then all the previous comments were gone or you couldn't comment at all. Um, that seems to have been fixed now and uh, a few comments show, showed up after all. So um, if you have commented and you don't see your comment, I'm really sorry about that. It seems there was a YouTube problem. Speaking of comments, in today's vlog, I'll be making something because of what I've read in the comments. And for that, I have to go back to vlog number uh, no, not the vlog, uh, advent calendar number 13, day 13. And in the second part of that um, video, I'm using a glue bottle, as you can see here. And in the comment section, Lisa commented that um, the little upside down unmentioned glue stand is a star. Uh, so I thought I should show you how to make one and they're really easy to make. Here it is, little glue bottle stand. Actually, I have two um, little glue bottle stands. And these are for those uh, needle, I don't know what they're called, pin needle uh, dispensers. <laughs> don't know, don't know the name at the moment. <laughs> might come to me later um, and they just slide in like that which is really nice and it keeps the glue down uh, to the point uh, flowing down to the point um, this one actually was given to me uh, or to us when I was taking class with David Hurley and he made one for all of us and this class was years ago and this one I can't remember where I got this. In another class, probably. Uh, so I didn't make any of them, but they're really easy to make, and I'll show you. And I'll show you where, um, which class I got this in. One second. It's over here. Let me get that out of the way. Um, it's this cabinet right there. Ooh. <laughs> More dust. Yeah, my glass fronts aren't installed at the moment, so it's a bit dusty. Ooh, <laughs> just going to get that out. There. So. I took this class with David Hurley and we made this ombre with a um, little door in there. And we carved these uh, panels. And I think that, that was such a fun class. I really, really enjoyed that. And uh, we learned a lot uh, from David. David is a wonderful man. Always was a great guy to take classes with because he he taught a lot of his techniques and he showed you everything. There was no <laughs> nothing was off limits. He will teach you all his tricks. So, but anyway, he also gave us this, and like I said, he made one for each of us. And um, now I'll show you how to make one for yourself. Right, so this is what we're making, uh, the glue bottle stand. And um, we're gonna go with this small size because of course, as miniaturists, we like to apply very precise amounts of glue uh, with these tiny glue bottles. But you could make a bigger one if you have <laughs> like this huge bottle of glue, which I do use um, in construction of room boxes. So it's heavy too. Um, so you could make a, little, a bigger one. Um, I don't really need that, so but you could. Same principle. And uh, I'm going with this one. And the height 
of the glue bottle dispense uh, the glue bottle holder depends on this height um, because that has to slide in there so you need some room for that and as you can see that smaller one has a shorter top so then the dispenser can be shorter and I thought um, instead of making it with wood because I know a lot of you don't actually work with wood or don't have a table saw and it's a little bit more difficult I thought I'd make it from cardstock and I have some here some cutoffs this is mat board and I just keep the pieces that I don't use for instances like these and now I can use can use them and mat board is really really strong so it will work just as well as wood um, just don't get it wet of course if you don't have mat board you could try using like the back of um, sketchbook they often have really good cardboard backs or glue several thinner pieces of cardstock together that will be very strong it would be like a laminate so you can use that um, let me first give you the dimensions of the bottle I'm working with and here it is this is in inches this is four inches or around 10 centimeters and the top is uh, two inches or five centimeters so if you have a larger bottle or a sm shorter one that's what you want to pay attention to so here that that distance is two point oh i never know these increments in inches <laughs> two, two inches and what is that 30 seconds well read it yourself there well you you have to measure your own bottle anyway so it's not really important and in centimeters that's like five point four and a half millimeters five point four and a half five point forty five anyway i'm going to make i'm going to show you the dimensions on screen So I cut out the pieces and um, as you saw, I did cut out the side pieces with my jeweler saw. And if you don't have one of these, I mean, it's really easy to cut with the jeweler, jeweler saw. Um, you can just cut it with your knife. Um, it will take a little bit more effort because cutting around a corner in this thick cardstock is a bit tricky, but um, it can be done. So I've got, let's see, I've got the bottom piece, the back piece, the top piece, which still, oh, that one still has to be cut out, top piece, and then I've got side pieces there. So I'll cut that out as well. And with this top bit, um, the size of the cutout depends on the, let's call it the shoulder, the thickness of this, this, um, the shoulder there where it goes in, because that's where the glue bottle sits, right there. And it needs to be fairly snug, not too loose, um, and not too tight, because you want to be able to get it in and out of there easily. Um, same goes for this one here. This one is a little bit bigger. The cutout is a little bit bigger. But I'd say, um, again, depending on your glue bottle, this one is what? Uh, 
not even two centimeters, so it's like 1.8 centimeters, or in inches, that is th three quarters of an inch. Am I saying that correctly? I think so. Just about, not, not, not quite. Um, if you want to have a look at yourself, like I said, I'm terrible at these inch increments. Um, that's the size in inches. But again, depending on your own glue bottle. Let me just cut that out first. There, finished it. That was like 20 seconds of work. <laughs> it's really quick. And uh, so now we can just glue it together. And one thing I wanted to show you is that the bottom piece, that one, is slightly bigger than the top. And that helps with the stability so that um, if the weight is on the front, then it's easier to tip over. I mean, there's hardly any weight to it, so I don't think that will happen. But it's always good to have just a little bit of, make it a little bit bigger. Someone came in, <laughs> so I had to take a little break from filming. Um, now, where was I? Right. Uh, I told you the bottom part was a little bit longer than the top part for stability. And the same goes for the side pieces. The top is shorter than the bottom, or the bottom is longer than the top. Um, see? Not much, but... Um, and here you can see that the bottom ends where the top ends. So, and it just, um, again, a little bit more stability. And the curve here is just a nice, you know, it's a comfortable curve. Um, you don't hurt your hands. Although I don't think that's going to happen anyway. But you can choose a shape you like. Um, and now we can just, I've got all the pieces. So the two side pieces, the back, the top and the bottom. And now we can just glue them together. Okay, I've sped up the video here because really, I mean, it's just gluing together some parts. And it's very simple. I'm just using wood glue or the glue that's in the tiny bottles. And I start with the back and then I glued the bottom piece against that. Then the two side pieces. And finally, I glued the top piece on there and tried to keep everything straight. And that's it. Simple comme bonjour, as the French say. <laughs> it's finished. And I painted it black because there was already black paint on there and it just looks really nice. So let's just put the glue bottle in there. So perfect. A really good thing to have. Uh, I use it a lot. One more thing you could do. There's a little hole in here uh, in David's bottle holder and that's for the glue bottle cap for the pin to go in when you're using the bottle. In uh, practice, I never use it. I just, <laughs> because it takes more time to uh, put that pin in there. But it is handy. I mean, you don't lose it. So you could do that, do drill a little hole. Uh, I'll make some drawings of these uh, glue bottle holders and um, I'll provide a link to my blog and I'll put the drawing on my blog. Perfect. I just wanted to do a quick update on the silver miniature auction I showed you last week. And um, as you can see, it's finished now. Um, that first one went for 905 euros, which is a lot more than the estimate. Uh, but I think that was a really good piece and it's Frisian silver. So which is always uh, a bit special. So, and now I'll go to the one I liked. Um, here's the first one. I I liked it, but there was something I did not bid for that because uh, I didn't like the handle. That To me, that doesn't look like it's an original. And the soldering is really bad, so that's why I didn't, didn't like that one. But um, someone bought it. I contemplated buying it and then making a new handle for it, but I thought, wow, 
that would be wrong. <laughs> this is an antique piece, well, even though someone else already messed with it, but um, <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, and then there was the other one, which I really liked, which is this one. And that one did have the original handle. Beautiful one. But um, I didn't buy it. Um, it went up to 470 so someone got it for 470 which still I, I don't think that's a bad price but um, I decided uh, you know with the auction costs and everything uh, I really like it but not enough to to spend like over 600 euros on it and um, it's a little bit big so there <laughs> and um, well you can have a look at the auction yourself at the results and see um, how much the pieces went for. But uh, all in all, I didn't think they were bad prices. Uh, this one, I also quite like that one, which is a, a cooking pot. And to me, um, that wasn't a bad price, actually. Uh, 110 euros. Well, with auction costs, that would be around 140, uh, maybe... Um, shipping and that'd be one I don't know maybe 25 extra so 165 perhaps so anyway well there's still a few not finished um, yeah didn't get anything <laughs> I was tempted but not enough to uh, spend loads of money so there it is Oh, and I also wanted to show you the um, the two uh, hearth companion sets, um, the ones that I have, and uh, it went for 65 euros. Of course, you still have to pay nearly 30% auction costs, etc. So, um, but you can see the bids. <laughs> They were going in five euro increments um, up to uh, 65, but that's not a bad price. I mean, it's it's they're not very special miniatures, but they're, they're, that's not bad, actually. And this one I liked the uh, little tray 655. Oh, this one's that's interesting. 1700 euros. Yeah, it's a rare one. I mean, these, if they're, they're really good, they can go up to, you know, very high prices. And this one, tobacco jar. Yeah, I thought that would be a little bit more expensive. Anyway, um, if you're interested, uh, have a look at the results yourself. They're still online, so you can check what the bids were and how, ma how much it made. Oh, this one I liked as well. Yeah. 1210, is it finished? No, still a few minutes to go. Let's see. <laughs> Loads of bids. Uh, let's see if there's the same bidder. Started at 300. 48.15 has been bidding a lot. I think they did place an automatic. Let's see, 41.15. Yeah, those are automatic bids. Some of them anyway. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's still going. Few more minutes, few more minutes. Uh, have a look at it yourself. The room you saw in the beginning of this vlog is my art studio or workshop room in my second canal house. And I've been working on this on and off for several years now, and I still need to do a lot to uh, on a lot of work on that. Um, but since I was working on the glue bottle stand. 
I thought this would look good in my art studio as well, uh, in the miniature one. And uh, I thought I'll make a miniature version of it. Now, I'm usually not a person who makes a lot of craft projects, these little uh, projects, but I'll give it a go. Um, so I'll be making a glue bottle first. And I was looking around to see what kind of materials I have. And I thought I'd just use these cotton buds or uh, Q-tips. So I'll just use that as a bottle. Well, a lot smaller, of course. And then I have these things. They're the tops of... They go onto syringes and you can use them for glue as well. But um, these came from a class I took last year with Jeannie Brownlee Anderson, and it was a Christmas food I made uh, in polymer clay. A lot of fun, that class. I'm going to take another one this year. <laughs> um, so I thought I could use that tip, just cut that off a little bit, and then use that bit um, as represent that and I could use clay I just don't like working with clay that much that's why I'm taking these classes uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway I thought if I put that bit on the end just cut that off a little bit then I kind of have a glue bottle shape I mean it's so tiny you're not going to be able to see it anyway it's just to suggest it and um, then I'll just make a little stand for it. I've made a little bottle and it's drying right now so I'll show you later and I think it looks cute I mean it's not perfect but it's nice um, and now I'm going to make the glue bottle stand and I'm just going to use this thin cardstock for that and just a little cut off I keep these things just for cases like these and basically it's just a matter of copying the design from the big one onto the small one. So I'll do that now. It shouldn't be too difficult.
it's finished. Um, now the proportions are a little bit different than the um, the other, the big blue bottle. And in hindsight, I could have left that top bit off, uh, on, I mean, I cut it off, um, but it could have been left on. That's all right. Bottles come in all sizes and shapes, so yeah, it's, it's cute. I like it. So I'll put it in the uh, art studio. Thank you for watching, until next time!